Hello friends, I'm Carlos. I've been using large-scale 3D printers for several years. For example, the CL10 and CL10 version 2. They can print up to 300 times 300 times 300 mm cube. But for the two machines, which are the Ender 3 Pro and Ender 3 version 2, they belong to 200 times 200 times 200 mm. When I was wondering if there are any big machines in the Ender series, this machine appeared outside my door. It turns out to be the new machine sent to me by Mr. Liu, which is Ender 3 Max. Whoa, let's get started now. Just to remind you, if you like the channel of Carlos the Organman, please click to subscribe in the lower right corner. If you want to be notified of new videos as soon as possible, please click the bell. You are also welcome to add likes and comments. I can tell you that this machine is the latest, because at the end of September, I've just watched the live broadcasting of Creality about this machine. Honestly, if you viewed it on YouTube, there are not many videos about Ender 3 Max so far. So today Carlos will take you a sneak peek. It looks like the setting is more like a CR series. Why do I say this? Of course, I have a reason. You can see the gate is already assembled. If you have watched the previous two Ender series videos, you will know that the x-axis of Ender needs to be installed by yourself. And this assembled gate Reminds me of CL10, CL10 version 2, and CL10 version 3. Okay, just ignore it. Take everything out first. There is only one main unit and one tray of parts in the box. Take out everything from the tray, only this fill. Open the menu and you'll find that it only takes 5 steps to install the whole machine. There are only a few screws out of the bag. And there's no need to use any containers to categorize. Okay, let's stand up the gate first. You'll find that the four long screws should be screwed in on the side. No need to put the machine upside down to install. The transformer also needs to be installed by yourself. Take two M4 times 25 screws to install it. The installation method is a bit like and a 3 Pro. The control panel is 90% similar to Ender 3 Pro. The installation method is the same also. And the only difference from all the previous models is this consumable mounting black cap. Because it doesn't require screws to install, you just need to plug this hook violently into the body. After hooking it up, the black cat can be folded up. For the hot bed, and the three mats also uses a piece of latest glass. The wiring is exactly the same as the previous model. Just correspond to the letters X, Y, Z, and E. Distinguish the wider plug for motor and the narrower plug for the limiter. And there will be no problem. Then connect the output and input of the transformer. Finally, don't forget the rainbow line of the control panel. Look, it will be installed very quick, as I said. It seems to take less time than the CR series. It's 300 times 340 mm. They're similar to version 2 and version 3. Since this machine is so similar to CR10, then where is its position? <laughs> what I can see is integrated design. For CL10 version 2 and version 3, the main control should put on the side and it will occupy more space on the table. Structurally, I think Ender 3 Max is not as good as CL10 version 2 and version 3 because of the lack of two diagonally supporting beams. They still look very firm. In addition, I see that although the Ender 3 Max is so big, but there's only one Z axis. Generally, the X axis of a large machines should be lived by two Z axis using two stepping motors to work together and clean more accurately. But this Ender 3 Max only have one Z axis. That means it only has four stepping motors. However, it still claims to be able to clean such a large range. The last point is of course this foldable consumable rack. It is a very special design. Since Ender 3 Max is really too new, I can't find a setting in Cura 4.7.1. Because it is so similar to Ender 3 Pro, I took the settings of Ender 3 Pro Modify the printing area to 300 times 300 times 340 mm. Rename the printer setting to Ender 3 Max. That's all. 
Generally, when working with such a large printer, I won't use it to print very tall things because printing large and tall objects takes several days. I rarely do this. But large printers also have benefits because the area of the hotbed is relatively large. Like the Ender 3 Max, it has a 300 x 300 hotbed. More convenient for you to arrange many objects and print together. Because I'm going to print something for testing, I only put 5 cubes at the four corners and in the middle. Then you made the place safe on SD card for printing. Okay, let's switch on the machine. If you want good printing quality, I would recommend you to use the PLA supplied by Creality. It is easier to print successfully and get good printing quality. Let's run auto home first. Let the hot add return to the zero zero position. Then we disable steppers and do the leveling. We have always used a piece of paper to help leveling. Put the paper between the hot edge and the hot bed at the four corners. Adjust the knob until you feel the friction when pulling the paper. Then insert the SD card and print the file just now. Carlos has once taught you. Touch with your finger while printing the screw to judge whether the leveling is correct. But this time when I touch the skirts, they come out. The reason is very simple, because the hot bed is too big. It is not an absolute plane. Therefore, the method of using paper to level the four corners may not work. I believe in the future, I have to install BL Touch Automatic Leveling to this machine as I work with CL10 version 2. In order to print, I now adjust the four corners closer to the print head. Of course, I still touch the skirt while adjusting to determine whether it is really close to the hot bed. Basically, as long as the first layer is successfully printed and there's no power shortage or breaking of PLA, the printing will be finished. After installation and calibration, and the 3 mesh is now operating normally. And you can see that manual leveling is not so easy when you work with such a large printer. But it doesn't matter whether it's CL or Ender. You can install BL Touch Leveling Kit. You can also install Titan Print Head to print soft TPU or TPE materials. Today, our unpacking and trial printing of Ender 3 Mask is preliminary. I will use it a lot in my creations in the future. If you like my video, Remember to subscribe, like and share.